Hello Internet, are the lady here? After the video showing the 3D printing of the T-800 model from the Terminator movie, some people ask me how I did the separation between the head part of the model from the base of the model and how I created all the tunnels and cavities for the installation of the electronic parts. So in this and in the next video I'm gonna show how to do all these things. So the first thing I did was to download the T-800 model. I found this model in the website called Thingiverse. The original model has a head attached to the base. And to start working on our model, let's use a tool called Tinkercad. This is a free and web-based tool, so you don't need to buy or install it. You just need to create an account in this website and you'll be able to use this tool right away. Now for creating a new project, let's click here in Create New Design. And here we just have to click in Import to import our 3D model. Just a reminder that this 3D model is available in the Thingiverse website. The link to download this 3D model is in the description of this video as well. And here is our 3D model. For rotating the view, we can just drag the right mouse button around. And for zooming, we can rotate the mouse wheel. And for separating the head from the base of this model, we're gonna do a subtraction operation. And for creating the object that will do the subtraction, we can select this simple object here, like a box. And then we can click here in the viewport to place the object in the viewport. An important thing here is that if the object has a solid color, the object will not perform a subtraction operation. The object needs to be selected as a whole, so it can be able to perform the subtraction. Now let's click and drag this little square so we can resize the object. All the parts of the model that are covered by this box will be removed from the model. So in this case, I'm covering the base with this box, so I'll be extracting the head. So if I want to extract the base from this model, I just have to create another box that will cover the head and keep the base. For doing that, I will select the box that we have and I'll click here in Duplicate. Now I'm gonna drag this arrow up so I can move this box up. So the new box starts when the previous one ends. Now I'm just resizing the second box so it covers the whole head of the model. The box that I select together with the model in the moment of exporting is the box that will perform the subtraction operation. So if I want to export the base of the model, I have to select the box on the top together with the model in the moment of exporting. And if I want to export the head of the model, I have to select the box on the bottom together with the model for exporting. So for exporting the base separated from the head, I just have to select the 3D model and the box on the top. For doing that, I'm just dragging the left mouse button. And after that, I just have to click here in export. And here it's important to select this option so only the selected objects are exported. Otherwise, the subtraction operation will fail. After that, you just have to click in the file format that you want to export. And after exporting this 3D model, you can open it in any slicer software and prepare it for printing. And here is the base separated from the head. Now for exporting the head separated from the base, I'm gonna select the model and the box in the bottom. For doing that, I'm just dragging the left mouse button. And after that, I just have to click here in export. And for exporting, you have to do the same thing that you've done before for the base. And here is the head separated from the base. So in this video, I have shown how to split the model in parts. And in the next video, I'm gonna show how to dig tunnels inside the model for the installation of any electronic components like LED lights or batteries. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to this channel to receive new tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!